Hell yeah, lockdown is finally over, folks. And you know what that means? It's time for the resurgence of Pro Wrestling Malta. And what a way to get back on track than by opening this amazing event with that top gold, with the most prestigious crown jewel in Pro Wrestling Malta. Up for grabs, that's right folks, the Pro Wrestling Malta Heavyweight Championship is on the line in their opening bout here in Resurgence as the number one contender Jack Quinn finally gets his return match against the petty champion, the fabulous one himself, glamorous Roddy. Well, we've seen a different side of Roddy during these past two events. I don't know, for a long time I thought Roddy was supposed to be one of the hopes, one of the lights here in Pro Wrestling Malta, but apparently he's been seeing too much of Fifty Shades of Grey lately, because I, I do not like what he's turned into. He's turned into some kind of, I don't know what the right word is, other than, well, evil. He's turned into such an emotional wreck. He's trying to make up for all the excuses, pretending that the world is all against him when his entire career, the fans were all behind him. Now, I think the right word that he's trying to say is that he's jealous. He's jealous of Jack Quinn reaching the mountaintop alongside him. And what's wrong with that? We need more stars here in Pro Wrestling Malta. Obviously, as a champion, you gotta defend your title, but you're gonna get a number one contender regardless. You gotta defend your, your championship against one man or another. In this case, it's gonna be Jack Quinn. In this case, Jack Quinn is going for revenge because this is his second chance and quite potentially his last. Folks, I mean, yes, you know, I'll give it to him. He's the pro wrestling multiple champion. I mean, I can give him a lot of credits, but at the end of the day, it's what's, you know, the aura around that is what I'm going to point out. He has defended that championship, yes, a few times before, but his last title defense against Jack Quinn, to say it, it didn't go down smoothly, is an understatement. A lot of controversy in the form of Adam Envy, mind you, going into bat for Roddy and basically handing him over the victory. In this case, Envy has been barred from ringside. So, well, I don't think other than Envy, Roddy has any friends anymore. So, this is gonna be hopefully straight up man to man, mano a mano. He has no backup other than his own two fists, his own athletic ability, and obviously his experience. And that's why he's the champion. What a champion out of all those three elements. So he has a good chance at actually defending it. But I don't understand this attitude. I don't understand this shift in Paragon when it comes to his character. I don't get it. And look at that. He, again, with the mask, pretending he's some sort of, you know, martyr. Like everybody's against him. Everybody thinks that he's ugly all of a sudden. No, Roddy. Nobody thinks that you're ugly. But everybody thinks you're a traitor. That's for damn sure. And I guarantee you, having an ugly reputation is much, much worse than having an ugly figure or anything else. Not that I can relate, I have a handsome figure and a fantastic reputation. <laughs> uh, but nothing is more great, nothing is more prestigious, nothing is more important than that championship right there. The Pro Wrestling Molda Heavyweight title, once again, up for grabs between these two combatants. The defending champion being checked. And now, the up-and-coming challenger, Jack Quinn. Yeah, I mean, the referee might have done his official, official job training Jack Quinn, but Jack Quinn, we all know he literally has a card up his sleeve. <laughs> literally. And now, the battle is underway. Oh, look, Sir Potch making his way down the ring slide. Ah, he's gonna beat the crap out of the champion. Now he better stay out there and just watch the match. He, we don't want to open back for wrestling Malta with a squash match. Even if it's two on one, Sir Potch would just squash them both. No offense, Jack Cohen, it's just the facts. You're lucky he's out there. However, let's see if luck is on your side this time. 
and get a clean match out of the world champion. It's really, well, it's, it's kind of outrageous that we're actually asking to have a clean World Heavyweight Championship match these days. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Out of Roddy, too. I wasn't expecting that when he became champion. Not that he was going to be one of the beacons, one of the, you know, traditional guys, the classical champions. But instead, we got this two-faced moron. Whatever. Oh, look at that. The coward. You know, the old Roddy wouldn't have done that. The old Roddy would have stayed and fight. He would have clashed with whatever came in front of him. Doubt the official doing whatever he can to, I guess, officiate the match. I would have just let him, them, you know, let Jack Quinn do what he has to do. Because Rory did what he had to do the last time. He had to defend the title against Quinn. Oh, uh, yeah. And now, the first hole of the match. Sort of, as Quinn, he was going for a headlock, but instead, Roddy caught him with a wrist lock. Placing the champion, I'm sorry, placing the number one contender down, but instead the magician, one of his tricks, wants to go for the signature Russian leg sweep, but hey, the champion with this experience, playing a factor immediately. I'm telling you, I already pointed this out, that champion has a lot of experience, a lot of athletic ability, and again, just skill. I will give him that, he has talent, which is why it's such a shame that he has to go down this route. That's why he became champion to begin with, that's how he actually pinned Johnny Valletta for the championship too. Hold on now. Whoa! Quinn reverses it into an arm drag, into a leg sweep, and into a calf kick. Literally landing on the back of the nape of the world champion. Is this it? Is this going to be the end? Shiny Wizard! No! Oh, no, 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 Roddy! Grabbing the hair and slamming him right back on the mat. Into a neck breaker as well. I already got out of that one. Now he will. Yeah, now he did it for sure. Wait, this is actually gonna be the end already? No, 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 no. Watch, he's gonna kick out. But yeah, I told you. Look, it's gonna take a lot more than two neck breakers, one and a half, to put down someone like Jack Quinn, let's be frank. I know I have to make it all suspense and like, but I'm gonna be realistic in this aspect. And the reality is that Jack Quinn is gonna be landing back first into a scoop slam if Roddy actually finally finishes off with a final touch that wasted his time and look he didn't even get a one count because of that Roddy come on you're the champion do not waste your time there you go pummel him to the ground get a fall make him exert the energy at least there you go Jack Quinn might have not expected this from Roddy this vicious streak might have came from the front of that character change I mentioned earlier I mean I don't have to mention it you can see it right here everything changed Roddy ruling his tactics his attitude he never used to do this before, but now, hey, apparently it's no holds barred in the mindset of Roddy. And you might actually, hey, it might actually be an advantage at the end of the day. Because, again, the men they barred from ringside. It's all about you, Roddy, now. And it's all about if you've got what it takes to put an end to Quinn's momentum, but no! The momentum shift as Quinn retaliates with a knee. Oh, I was going to say a knee strike, but he whips him. Double knee strike into the corner. Into the cover, he hooks the leg! No! Oh! Now you see right there, he got a two count on front for Roddy. Roddy only managed not to even get a one count, so that speaks volumes as to how devastating those knee strikes from Quinn. Not as devastating as the Shining Wizard! Shining! No! Swing Blade! He actually connected! Roddy! Doesn't retain it! Holy hell! He cut Quinn perfectly. Perfect timing. Perfect athleticism. Perfect jump. Just like I said, man, it was just the perfect maneuver. Oh man! Discus elbow right into the jaw. Again, Quinn. I'm surprised he's still not concussed out of that shot. And that came right out of the sling blade too. So hats off to Roddy. I mean, not the magic hat, but you get what I mean. But I think the only thing that's gonna come off right now are Jack Quinn's consciousness if he continues to get nailed by Roddy's shot. Look at that! Quinn is just rebounding back, but instead he rebounds this time with an elbow strike of his own. Oh, he dodged that one. He reversed it with a shot at another one. Reversing dodge. Rebound from the ropes, Roddy tried to at least, another one, 
and a man with a kick, a tray rack of a kick, and a second one, with flashing Roddy into the middle of the ring, following it up with a calf kick. Oh, here we go, Quinn, from the ropes, tilt the whirl, Russian leg swing, into the cover, smooth, look at all. Oh! If you saw that, he was literally forcing Roddy's shoulder into the mat using both his arms. But Roddy, still in this. But for how long? Quinn now, signaling the end. Is this the end though? Will he finally connect it? No, he won't! Roddy! Double underhook, no, 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 no! Kick! From Quinn! And a shining wizard! And a shining wizard! Yes! Quinn! He actually wins the big one! Oh my god, I can't believe this! Quinn! Finally reached the pinnacle of the mountaintop here in Pro Wrestling Malta! The magician is now the world champion! History has been made, and Quinn has finally ascended. Quinn, yeah, you better believe it, man. You've done it. Your name will be etched now in history, alongside the great, because now you are the king of the mountaintop. <laughs>